is the fifteenth episode. Dude. Fifteen already. This is fifteen weeks in a row. What the fuck? Hell yeah, like babe. It. We're like that's five months. No, it's not. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you're drunk. No, Yo, that's I'm like wrong. three months in one week, dog. What's up, guys? This is the East Park Podcast. My name is Xavier. My name is Kylie. Fuck. <laughs> Chad, back at it again for another banger podcast. Apparently, all right, let's get into it, boys. Disclaimer. Oh, fuck us up. Kylie's drunk. I'm a little fucked up. Kylie's definitely drunk for this episode. I'm five twisted teas deep. Announcement. Let me catch up. Big announcement. <laughs> Should have catch up over half of one. Um, we have something really cool coming. Um, I bought the domain of fucking eastparkentertainment.com it's gonna be eastparkent.com ENT yeah for short so uh hopefully that'll be up no later than the 20th of this month um it'll host all of our content hells yeah um all our uh videos and stuff like that which i'm still working on trying to get the videos squared away so we can find a consistent pattern of being able to get those up there and uh, you can see us on a consistent basis because you know my beard's looking on point and i kind of really, really <laughs> wish you guys to see that Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So right now uh, it's kind of in the works, but it's it's definitely going to be a thing uh, here very shortly for you guys. So hopefully later this month. Yeah. Be ready. So how was your guys' week? Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling. <sighs> Basically did uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, you had a fucking Damn. vacation and didn't Basically go on vacation. Four days off for like no reason. That's like, lit. Didn't even realize it. Didn't even realize. <laughs> Day four, I'm like, whoa! I just had four days off. <laughs> I hate those like those streaks of days that you get off, where you look up on the last day and it's like, Damn. what the fuck? What the where fuck did it go? Happened? Yeah, I know what you mean. Dude. I didn't get anything done. Literally, like I go through those those lapses all the time. Like especially on the weekends, I have two days off, and uh, Sunday wish. I'll roll around and I'll be like, Fri- no Friday I'll be like, I'm off work. <laughs> it's about to be a lit ass weekend. I don't do nothing Friday night. Saturday morning comes and I'm like, shit, we about to get fucked up tonight. <laughs> Saturday Thank afternoon shit. comes around. I'm just like, all right, well, I'm kind of tired, but I don't really want to, you know, we'll see, what's, we'll see what's going on. We're old. Then Sunday morning, it's like, I got to go back to work tomorrow, man. Fuck this shit. I'm about to quit. Yeah, whatever. And then I just go anyways. Literally couldn't even explain it any better. Yeah. Um. So, so what happened today, Zay? Uh, um, <laughs> today of all days. Shit's wild. All right. So um, this is no secret to the podcast. I work at a dealership. Um, to the people that don't know, um, I work at a dealership. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for uh, any new listeners. Um, by the way, France, we fuck with y'all, man. If you live in France, bro, we fuck with you. DM us on East Park Entertainment. Um, on Instagram and tell us who the fuck you are because we fuck with you for listening to us on a consistent fucking basis. You are one of our biggest listeners. Just Where bring us f- out there, bro. Bro, what the what the fuck? Fuck? <laughs> yeah. Y'all got a spare bedroom? I don't know if y'all got that kind of money. You got an Airbnb or what? <laughs> what is it? You call it Air We and We. We We. The geats are good. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, God. Give me that croissant. Bring it back the accents from last week. Yeah, those are trash. By the way, I listened back trash. on that, and they were really bad. Nah, I say I don't know what you mean. <laughs> 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 Your country guy accent was on point. God damn it, Daryl! What the hell? God dude? damn it, Daryl! <laughs> <laughs> but my 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 Mexican accent accent was like really bad. Dude, it was an off, it was an off night. Don't worry about it. It was really off. Um, but yeah, so I'm at work today. And uh, we had this customer that came in on, what's today, Tuesday? He came in on Saturday for a, uh, was it Saturday? No, 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 no I'm, I'm tripping. He was here today and he came in yesterday. At the end of yesterday, he was he was right. there around like six o'clock and then he was even there where, like whenever I left. Um, they were there till like eight something. Like we, we close at seven, but we don't yeah, really this leave. Some, this is just some guy. Wait, what are you talking about? So, all right. So uh, to break it down, we they were there till eight. Eight little uh, like after eight because they were helping a customer get in the car and everything like that. Oh, okay. and usually Last like night. yeah, oh, okay. usually like whenever um, a customer comes around like six thirty or something like that and wants to actually buy the car, the salesman and the manager stays until that person gets handled. Okay, especially if they don't live near right uh, the dealership. Um, so 
this guy comes um, in this Chrysler 300. Yikes. And he has a 30-day tag on it. And he already wants to trade the bitch in. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. He hasn't had the car for more than a month. So, he I don't know what happened. He ended up not going through with the whole situation or whatever. Um, he test drove a Jeep Cherokee. So, today comes around. He calls the dealership. And he goes to my manager. You guys nicked my car on you know the pillar between the front uh front driver's door and the 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 driver side rear door okay so there's a pillar there and there's like this panel that's in between that and there was like i mean a pencil tip chip in it what the fuck pencil tip my manager goes who did it though why would we if all right, so my manager took the car on a test drive to get it upraised, okay. get, an, get an appraisal on it, um, which is basically for anybody who doesn't know what that means. You go when somebody when you go to a dealership to trade your car in, the person that is manager there or whoever handles the appraisals uh, test drives your car, see how much it's worth, so that they can determine how much we're going to give you for the trade in. So he does that, and then, like I said, the guy calls back today and he goes, "You guys left a nick or a chip in the fucking pillar." The appraisal. Yeah. On the the inside or the outside? Outside. My manager goes, there's no way a test drive around the block leaves a fucking chip on the pillar of your car. Not only that, but like there were no other cars surrounding this car. So it's not like that. Like the where where it was was too high for like if another door swung open. It couldn't have hit that particular spot in the on the fucking car. So. He is like, no, nah, I want the whole panel replaced. And we're like, what that's fuck, that's dude? not going to happen. <laughs> that's yeah, definitely not definitely about to happen. Not. So the my manager was like, all right, well, uh, bring it up here. We'll look at it. So about 45 minutes later, he shows up with his daughter in the in the car, okay. um, pulls the car up to the side of the building right where it was yesterday. Uh, my manager's looking. Uh, he's like, yo, like we didn't do that. Um, you're, you're absolutely like, like, like why would the, the, the thing is, why would we yeah. damage the car to right. lower the value so we can give you less money? But then we have to turn around and sell that same car, which means that we have to put money back into the car to fix that. So why would we why, like the same money that we're probably going to small little pencil name. tip, bro, what the fuck? like pencil tip, the same money that we're going to drop from your trade in the money that we're going to take away from your trade in is the same money we're going to, have to put back in to fix that yeah. fucking problem. So there's really no point in doing that. Like it would be stupid for us to even purposely damage a car. That was that's 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 unheard of, bro. Right. So he starts getting like loud and belligerent and shit like that, and I like walk out to the front of the building while they're still on the outside on the side of the building. Um, like I'm just kind of like walking around, just like being ear nosy and shit, and. uh my manager was, I mean, the, the dude was like, uh, it, it'll be real bad if karma came back and got you guys and somebody damaged your car. And I'm just like, I'm thinking in my head. So basically I now like if him. somebody comes, if, if damage ends up on our, on one of our cars, Is we he, know who to look for. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. So, uh, he was like, all right, well, I'm just going to go look at some more cars real quick. And my manager's like, no, you, you can leave because we, you, we, you basically just told us that you're about to go damage some more cars right now. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. So he was like, uh, no, I want a police report filed and shit like that. And my manager was like, all right, I'll call the police right now. He's like, call him then, call him then. So <laughs> my manager was like, I don't know why he escalated to this point, but he was like, all right, come inside and sit down and we'll, and we'll, we'll get everything figured out. So the dude comes inside. This is where I showed you the video. And I really wish I could show the listeners this video somehow. But as of right now, being that things are kind of hot right now, I don't want to share this video. Um, but. And I don't want to put my fucking manager out there like that. It'd be kind of fucked up. Um, so we come in. I go to the back. And I go to the um, mechanic. And I'm like, yo, yo, shit's getting crazy. Oh, <laughs> shit. Shit's getting hot. It's getting hot. <laughs> so we go back up to the front. Um, I go in to- inside of my office. I sit down. Um, I... I'm like getting back to my work at my computer and then I hear a 
And I'm like, no, oh, no fucking way did I just hear what I think I heard. And then I heard, like, you know when like people start fighting, all you hear is, like, yeah, like yeah. just scrambling on people's feet and stuff like that. I hear that, and I walk out of my office. I just see, like, my fucking manager's ass on the ground and him, like, reclining. <laughs> <laughs> him, like, reclining backwards, like, with his eyes kind of, like, rolling back to his head or whatever. So, long story short, even though this is kind of been a long story. Um, wait, wait, wait. The, did he knock him out? No, he just like he he sucker punched him because my manager looked yeah, down at his phone. Twice. Yeah, it looked like he hit him twice, but the second one didn't connect. Oh. Um, he, my manager looked down at his phone for like a split second, and then that's when he hit him. That's fucked up. The fucked up, the more fucked up part about this is the Child. dude's daughter was right, right beside him. After he hit my manager, he took off with he like dragged his daughter with him, took off, didn't buckle his daughter in what or anything. The fuck? And sped off, ran a red light, and just sped off down the street somewhere. Jesus Christ. Um, that little girl couldn't have been more than like five years old either. Uh, br- I, we were thinking like three. Yeah, that's what I was going to say too, like three or four. The shit was wild today, shit is bro. wild. Just because he had a nick in his car that he probably caught. Like you don't even you get nicks in your car and even know, you don't even know what they're from. Bro. Like yeah, you get them from real. the road, from rocks and shit. Like, <laughs> for real. If you want to like protect your car, you get a clear body. No questions asked. Like, people are wild, bro. Welcome so, to Akron. So we look up. <laughs> oh, it gets better. So we look up his information because dumbass went on a test drive the day before, and you have to sign a test drive ag- agreement before oh, you take one of our cars. So we have all your fucking Didn't information. Even think about it. He just hit him. Dude, dude from whatever city and everything like that, and has his name and sh- shit like that. What's up? Don't they have to take a, f- a copy of your license? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they have this dude's whole last name, address. Yeah. Uh, so birthday. we look him up <laughs> at like the the clerk, the county of clerks, or whatever it's called. Yep. Um, from the city that he's from. I'm not going to put all the information out there or whatever right now. But um, and this dude is like drug trafficking, fucking. Oh, my God. Like uh, fucking heroin, fucking cocaine, fucking. Uh, um, um, felonous assaults, like grocery list full of shit. Jesus. Like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, working at a dealership is, is like lightweight sketchy, bro. Yeah, because you see like all kinds of people. Dead ass. Because everyone needs a car. Dead ass. Damn. You probably you probably have like some mafia guys. And so like we're we're sitting there like <laughs> the entire day like, not so much on edge, but just kind of like fuck. This dude could come back with a gun or something like that and like shoot the whole shit. fucking store up. Like it, people are fucking crazy. Yeah, I'd be locking my fucking office door, bro. But I'm climbing through the ceiling. Fuck that. <laughs> and I'm punching one of them tiles <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm getting in the vent. Fuck that. Fucking Closing my door. <laughs> Dead ass. So we get a phone call around four o'clock. That's when shit gets funny as fuck. We get a phone call around four o'clock, and it's this guy that goes, um, Hey, uh, my name's Mark. Um, and That's my uncle's name. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> we should have, God damn it, I got to get some drops arranged for this fucking podcast. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I would just drop a random gay. <laughs> right there. Um, but he like, in this hood ass voice, he goes, uh, hi, this is, this is Mark. <laughs> and we're like, the fuck? Because we get weird people, weird people that call our dealership all the time. And um, he goes, were there uh, were there um, police up there earlier? What the fuck? And we're like, the, the person that's on the phone is like playing dumb. And he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Like, he's like, did the police end up coming up there uh, after an incident that happened up there? And we're like, we're thinking after he got the phone, he's like, that was that motherfucker that, that he called that back. Guy. How dumb of a criminal do you have to be, bro, to call back to the place where you just sucker punch somebody? Let me. <laughs> what an idiot, dude. Let me call the place where I caused an incident. What a retard. Can you, like. I'm a, bro, and the, the fucking he part about. to come back and sell his car, bro, dude, or some bro, We should have been shit. like, oh, no, man, but uh, we got this car up here. You know, if you want to come get it, then, you know, let's let's work a deal right now. Yeah, bro, his dumb ass probably would have been like. You should have baited him in. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Dude, oh, yeah. for the cops, you should have told me all. Oh, oh my god, that shit was fucking that's wild, fucking funny. bro. That was one of the. That's one of you. <laughs> holy shit. That shit was fucking funny. 
So yeah, that was my day at work today. Nice. Nice little 15 minute fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like 13, 12, 13. Um, so yeah. What else What else happened this week? <laughs> <laughs> what else happened this week? Uh, oh, dude, I can't even like remember. Ooh. I, mean, I pretty much just worked and then stayed home. I, I planned a picnic it. for my work. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you did one of those for... Yeah, yeah, remember the one we did last year? Yeah. I did one for the store I'm at now, and... Um, yeah, no one showed up. Wait, really? <laughs> I swear to God. Dude, it was no. Not it even, was, like, the managers and shit? It was three people that worked at the store. And then one guy brought his wife and kids. One dude, when you did it at associate. our store, it was lit. When right? you did it at our store, it was lit. Everybody right. showed up. Oh, it was so well, I was even pissed, there. To be fair, to be yeah, fair, you were there. Yeah. At last year's, I did bring like you know half the store. But <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Honestly, Chad made it happen. <laughs> I, think hey, I organized it though. That kickball, that you kickball game is lit. lit. You, you planned it out. You you mentioned it. You hung up the posters, and I was and I got everyone on board. And it this worked. year, no one went. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure I screenshot fun. that face you just made. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun though. I mean, it was fun when nobody showed up. Honestly, no. Yeah. <laughs> Anti-social as a motherfucker. Damn. I made veggie burgers. They were good. Uh, shout out today being no bra day, by the way. No uh, day. This uh, podcast was being recorded on July 9th. So today is National No Bra Day. It's not National. the same day that the podcast re- uh, drops, but it's a Tuesday and today is No Bra Day. So let them titties fly. <laughs> oh, my word. You are wild. All right. So we're going to go with headlines. Um, for those who are new to the podcast, headlines is when I back the way ab- away from the phone, the microphone a little bit and um, pr- try to not put my lips on it because... I'm probably sounding like super, super fucking loud. All right. Headlines is basically when we talk about the things that are going on in the world. Um, two fat ass earthquakes just happened in California. Cali. Yeah. So they, I, I saw like something. What, the, the biggest earthquake since like 20 years, 20 years, years ago. Or yeah. What? what was it like? Six <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> For real? For real? That's that was wild. the most like fake fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my just god! Sounded fake. What? what? <laughs> Fuck you! <guys. laughs> so they released a picture that was before the the two days before the earthquake, and then like it, all right, so it was on July fourth, and then July sixth, they did comparison photos, and you guys can look this up online. Um, there is like right where the epicenter of the earthquake was. There is now a crack in the earth. I saw that photo. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. So basically, California is about to fall off. California People keep saying that's gonna breaking. like happen, but like, you know how big of a fucking earthquake it would take for just a fat ass hey. chunk of land to just probably fall like a ten point oh. I think a little bit more. Really? No, I think a ten point oh would do the job. If it was like a long ten point oh, maybe. Yeah, I mean, like they're saying that like we don't. Like they well not we but they don't have like many goddamn bro they don't have what many uh, yeah what was that <laughs> what yes. in tarnation no oh. they said that there's hasn't been like many earthquakes over there and like a big one is just waiting to happen in any Damn. moment it's just stocking up the energy dude yeah. perfect love it love the end of the world my dumbass wants to move to California <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I if, where would exist. I move I did I kind of want to move to Arizona why think, Arizona it's always it's, like dry and hot no there. have you ever been there. No, it's it's different, dude. It's not it like it's hot. But shit it's, hits different. Shit hits it's dry different, though. It's I not kill wet. Both of you guys. It's not wet hot, it's but it's dry like dry heat, hot, bro. But it's so like, it like I forget <laughs> thing. No, it's like it doesn't feel like when you go outside and it's ninety and it's humid as shit out in Ohio. Right. It's not like that at all. It's just dry hot. Yeah, it's not as hot. So what's the difference be between like dry hot and like Ohio hot? Wet hot, you feel like. Uh, yeah, it's like, like you can feel the air. You right, feel almost. gross. Right. I don't know what dry hot's like. I never been to Arizona. I can just imagine that. I feel like dry hot is like. The imagine equivalent. it being hot but not sticky. I don't know how Shit to explain nice. it. That's, that's the most like. It's really nice. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's the most like duh ass response ever. <laughs> if I had to move anywhere, I would move to Nova Scotia. What Where the is that? Fuck? Ca- uh, Canada. 
You're obsessed with going to Canada. I do. But we can't yeah. take that Niagara Falls trip. Why? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go. Who's got the money for that right now? Not me. Can you make my fucking rent? <laughs> Have you ever been to Niagara Falls? Plenty of times. I've never know. been. Never See, fucking been. It let me down is all I'm saying. Damn. Wait, would you go on the Canadian side or American side? Both. I've done both. The Canadian side is amazing. What are you talking about? Dude, it's just a water. When's the last time you <laughs> been there? No. Bro, like there's so much shit When's to do over there. there. Clifton Hill? When's the last time you've been there? It's been a good 10 years. 10, right. 10, 20, 10 15 <laughs> When's years. When's the last time you've been there? I don't know. Ten shit. <laughs> no, but there's only better things over there now. Like the American side is trash. The American side like really needs some fucking work. Like there's like you could you could go from like seeing the Niagara Falls and you literally turn around and there's like an abandoned house or some shit. What the fuck? Sounds like Barberton. <laughs> Sorry, Barberton. Yikes. Love you anyway. I um, learned today that my parents, um, when they honeymooned, they went to Niagara Falls, so that's dope, I guess. I don't know. Played some casinos. Maybe. I need to go to oh, casinos. Dude, the last time I went money. Yeah. Some money. I, dude, I was... Okay. You only got to be 18 to gamble that's, there. Yeah. yeah, that's one of my stories. I just realized. I forgot. Wait, you gambled while you were 18 over there? Yeah. So you've been recently? Yes. Okay. I forgot completely about it, dude. <laughs> you, got a, you got a passport, don't you? Yeah, I do. Oh, shit. Dope. So, like, I mean... Where did I get? I gambled at some hotel. I forgot the name. Falls View? I don't know. Uh, it wasn't Seneca? too bad, though. Yeah, it was Seneca. Yeah. It was Seneca. It wasn't too bad. You just go up and down. But if you're under 18, you have to like every time you have to go to the or go to get into the casino, like uh-huh. what the uh, sh- machines are, uh-huh. you have to like show your ID and shit. That's weak. That's weak as hell. Well, it's the same thing. It's I'd getting carded whenever you. But you kindly be proud as fuck. Like, look, bitch. Take I just that got bitch this. To my forehead. I just got this done <laughs> last week. No, wow. I, Dude, I, I, I got up like two hundred dollars and I fucking Damn, lost it all. Bro, oh. that's when you stop. <laughs> Yeah, for real. Usually when I get all right, so my thing if I'm is positive at all. I'm stopping. Period. So if you fucking, I'm two dollars up, and I'm like, nope, that's good. I'm got it. I'm what the I'm, fuck? I got I'm it. Going bro. to Vegas this year for like two weeks. No, what? Yeah, I want to go. December. What, what the fuck? And you'll be twenty one. Yeah, that's exactly <gasps> the reason why I'm going. Damn, <laughs> that's lit. I Damn. Fucking, my grandma gambles all the fucking time. Like. All the time, she's retired, so like you know, yeah. old people shit. But you know. <laughs> my grandparents too, bro. Hey, she they be gambling money, online bro. and shit. I don't know why my grandma <laughs> wins money, but she wins money. My grandparents play solitaire online and they win a bunch of money. What the fuck? You can play solitaire online and win money. Gambling yes. on solitaire. Wait, what? Yes. Online gambling. They got, is it an app? I have no fucking. I'm clue. trying to get that on their computer. Probably on their bro. computer. Oh yeah, no. I, still, oh, I would. I would get online gamble. That's I would get no game. work done at work. That's the shit. That's all I would down. do. Like my grandma will go in with like twenty bucks and come out with like five hundred. I just do not understand like how she gets. My mom and dad used to be that way, bro. They would leave me at the hotel, <laughs> <laughs> bro. bro they, like it'd be me and my brother, and fucking they would leave me and him at the fucking hotel. My brother's obviously old enough to watch me. They weren't leaving me fucking by myself right. for you fucking mm-hmm. sensitive ass people mm-hmm. out there. Um, shut up, Kylie. <laughs> um, yeah, so they would leave us there, and they'd go to the casino or whatever, and they'd come back like fucking eight hundred dollars richer. And I'm like, what the fuck? So that means we're going to the arcade, right? <laughs> Dude, I, I fucked up. Like the way I did it was, I played roulette mostly. Really? I don't, and bro. Roulette is like I've never played that before. I want to play that so it's, bad. It's not, it's just a chance game. Like it's, it's like 50, there's no 50, skill to it. it. It's like forty nine, forty nine, with like one percent being the green or some shit like. What's that. the green? What? You, uh, what is going on? You um, how does the green work? I think it's times three your money. So like, Yo, so like automatically. Yeah. Well, so the way it works is like you choose your color. So there's two different options basically. You get to like either lay out your chips. Or you can just like bet on colors. Right. Uh, I always just did bet on colors, and then you probably your 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 um your payout's probably a little lower if you just bet on colors. Yeah, right? it doubles yeah. your money. Right, right. So like you spin it, or they spin it, and then whatever, like it depends on what color. So like let's say I bet on black twenty dollars, right? It right. lands on a black. Right. It'll it'll be forty dollars. Right. But green is like if I put twenty on, I think it's three times, so it'll go to sixty. So that's lit. I'm so say right you now. put like I'm on my way. Sixty dollars on green, and you it lands on green. Right. I think. Woo! I think, dude. <laughs> it's. It's. I don't know. It seems rigged. I'm not gonna lie, because I went from two hundred to zero real quick. 
The way I did it was I put like two on like red. Let's just say I start with red, and then I win. I'll mm-hmm. put four on red, and then I win, and I put eight on red. Uh-huh. Or if I lose, I'll switch to the other color and start from two again. It got me up to like two hundred to dude, and then I fucking st- and then I, I didn't lose two hundred all at once. I had a cutoff point which was like right. sixty dollars. So like I did bet forty dollars a couple times. <laughs> you know what pisses me off? I just dipped out. Fucking slot machines, bro. Dude, I don't understand. Because you're just sitting there like blowing. You're you're just pressing your money away. I have a video of this guy, or my, not my no, my grandpa. <laughs> <Jesus> <laughs> I don't know Christ. why I call my grandpa this guy. <laughs> God. But this guy. he fucking he, he hit big, so and it just the number kept going up and up and up and up. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? How? He broke the machine. <laughs> hey, I don't know. He got a massive payout. All right. Um, what else happened this week? Uh, in the last week, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving went to Brooklyn. <laughs> Yeah, that, Fuck he, all right, so he changed his number from it's this funny ass fucking joke, bro. <laughs> so his, I gotta find this thing, dude. This is funny as fuck. Somebody said it on Twitter. Um, and by the way, if we can fit it in, we're gonna play another game of uh, salt and pepper. Oh shit! Um, Katie is a random ass motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Has no rhyme or reason to anything that he does. <laughs> Just does random shit. Katie does do random shit. And, like, the thing that I don't understand about them going to fucking okay. Brooklyn is that Kyrie and KD are two people that complain about the media more <laughs> than any other fucking basketball players. And they just went to the media mecca of America. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, like I don't know. come on, bro. They're just trying to boost their reputation. Maybe. Who knows? All right. So, KD changed his number to number seven. Somebody tweeted. His Twitter handle is KD Trey 5 <laughs> His company is 35 Ventures. No. what? It, he what? built his whole brand around number 35. And then he says, Katie, uh, nothing KD does make a, makes a lick, of, lick of sense. Dude, what the fuck? Just random ass numbers for no reason. 23? Wait, what? Wait, what'd you say? 35. Oh, no, no, no. What's, 35, what's his number but what's now? his number now? Uh, seven. Seven. Oh, why did I think 23? That's no. LeBron. Yeah. LeBron James. There's a conspiracy, LeBron conspiracy theory, like conspiracy LeBron theory. If I can talk, James. you good? <laughs> Seven times five is thirty-five. Oh, 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 oh. Twenty-three divided by three is also five championships. No, no. he's never getting five. How um, he, got? he only has two. Oh, that's lame. So he, well, yeah, that's kind of how we want it to stay. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, fuck KD. He, uh, there's a conspiracy theory out that like he's trying to like. Do LeBron the way Kobe tried to do Jordan? So Kobe's number, what the fuck? Kobe's <laughs> number was number eight, and then he changed it to number twenty-four, which is one number higher than Jordan was at twenty-three. LeBron was number twenty-three and changed his number to number six this upcoming year, and now KD changed his number to number seven. What the fuck? Yeah. Yo, he could be. It could be. Sounds about right. Yeah. All right, enough of the headlines. We're going to hey, roll hey. into our general to- topics. Wait. What's up? I have a question. What's up? What? <laughs> <laughs> I got a fan, okay? I picked a random question oh, okay. from our fans, and he asked us to talk about embarrassing moments of our childhood. Let me go ahead and get this off my chest. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, you popped off quick. I'm, this isn't even childhood. This is like. Word. Oh, two weeks ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my. Do I even know about this? I'm probably going to use this as a clip. Oh, my word. So, um, bear with me here. Do I know about this? Nope. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <No>. fuck. <laughs> I'm take a drink before I say this. So, I'll take a swig. A nice little quick Shit. swig. Here goes nothing. So... One morning when you had already left for work, thank God. Oh, my. I uh, got up, oh. started my normal routine, went to the bathroom, washed my face, brushed my teeth. I can't look at you in the eyes while saying this. <laughs> <laughs> went to the room, got my clothes, um, came back out, went back into the bathroom, started like trying to get my hair together and everything like that. And... Um, Pushed a fart out that wasn't a fart. Oh, oh no, no, you did not. <laughs> you did. You what? <laughs> I'm it breaking is up with you. Absolutely oh safe to God. say 
that I threw those boxers away you immediately. I was late to work that morning. I was, bro. <laughs> listen. I cannot believe it. <laughs> wow. Listen. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Fuck. I full blown shit myself. You full, wait, what? It wasn't even like a fucking shark. No, it wasn't bit. a skid mark, bro. It was full blown like mud pie in my boxers, bro. You threw those out. I so had to. Fast. I, I, I put them, bro. The same Yo, way. You went to the bathroom. The, this is the funniest part. We're like, oh, fuck. This is the funniest part. I walked out of the bathroom because, all right, so what I did was I heard, like, you know how, like. <laughs> Bro, like, like when it when it came ago, out, bro. when it came out, bro, I've been I've been sitting on this story oh, for a no, minute, bro. Dude. I've been sitting. I I like, wanted to. I want. Bro, bro, I bro, I was sitting on this for a minute. <laughs> so, <laughs> so listen, oh, listen, because it was embarrassing as fuck. I feel like the podcast is the only way I'd be able to tell you this because <laughs> I can turn it into something funny. So, oh when it came out, first of all, it made like this, like it made this like bubbling sound. No, it was like wet as fuck. And it oh. snuck up on me so fucking bad. <laughs> Yo, so I, 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 what I did was I took this. I had gray sweatpants on. I took the sweatpants off like oh, very, God. very slowly so that I didn't get any of the shit on yeah. the sweatpants. Yeah, I got you. I like had to do that little like waddle walk. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Not and waddle I, pulled walk. The, I pulled my boxers down. I was like, yep, I'm throwing these away. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> took them off, went to the bath. I mean, uh, went to the shower. Completely... I took the wand and put it up the my wand. ass almost. <laughs> like, I, like, I took the wand. Like, you douched your I ass. I damn near, all, yes. Bro. You might as well just say I douched my ass. Like, oh, I, if, if the shower was a bored day, like, I definitely oh, use it as one. No, dude. Stop. Um, <laughs> fucking, I, I got y'all cleaned up and everything like that. And I walked out of the bathroom. I looked in the dog's room and I was like, Don't fucking tell anybody. <laughs> no, no, no. I looked at I looked at the dogs and I was like, I guess I'm no better than you guys at this oh, point. Shit, dude. <laughs> Bruh. What the fuck? I that gotta was like go. two weeks ago. Oh my god. <laughs> so what's embarrassing that happened to you guys? Oh shit. I don't know if I can top that. that. Yeah. I don't I can, definitely can't top that off the top of my head. I don't oh shit. <coughs> Whoa. You oh my god, I cannot wait to see that. I'm back on the fucking camera. That <laughs> just almost died. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I have any like I don't know I'm trying to think how you gonna come with the topic and not even have one it wasn't even my topic it was from a fucking viewer fucking listener whatever hmm fucking what happened to fan. me That's weird what did I say it. earlier embarrassing moment yeah embarrassing moment in your childhood I don't know what did I say you said a lot of stuff drunky <laughs> you right I once dropped books on my face that's boring though compared to your story fuck Hmm. What you got, Chad? <laughs> yeah, let's hear it, Chad. Uh, it's like I mean, you got something hot. I've done a lot of stupid shit in middle school. All right, <laughs> let's hear it, bro. So I don't know how to sit in this chair. Like I'm over here like this and shit. Like, yeah, well, <laughs> now you know how we feel, fucker. I got the boss's chair today. Yeah, whatever. I don't know why I did this, or um, me and my friend, but we fucking. Well, I don't know if it was really embarrassing. It was just a. All right, fuck it. Um, <laughs> we we were given lotion bottles. So yeah, oh shit, had it here we go. In middle school, all right. Middle schoolers and lotion bottles already <laughs> does not sound like a great combination. Gotta go. I don't know. We went to the bathroom, bro. Oh wow. <laughs> Hold on. All right, it gets. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We wait. took these lotion bottles, bro. This? All right, listen, and <laughs> they were they were like the lotion came out fast. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. So my friend fucking whips it. Oh, shit. I hit the mic. My friend fucking whips it, and all the lotion came out of the bottle and just splurted on the wall. <laughs> and then I decided to do it. <laughs> and that's when we got caught. Yikes. Yikes. I don't know if it was really an embarrassing moment. So the fucking principal came in and was like, you gay-ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like in his head, gay. <laughs> we decided to whip lotion bottles against the wall in, the, in our bathroom. Jesus Christ. There was another time where, like, <laughs> fucking math class in seventh grade, dude. Oh, my. We would, like, hit each other with rulers. 
Like metal. Just beat the shit out of each other? What the fuck? We would fucking whack each other with metal rulers that because he had these cat God hands. damn, bro. Metal <laughs> ones? What the fuck kind of penitentiary ass school was you at? Listen. You ever had a metal ruler? Listen. Fuck no. We had goddamn plastic wooden and wooden ones. They weren't really they had like metal rulers. ones with like the foam on the bottom? What? Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you got a metal yes, ruler it like and it had that like bottom. yeah, cork or like yeah, yeah. a thin like that black was not foam. what we were hitting each other with. <laughs> you guys had full blown metal ass rulers. We had fucking metal rulers and like the way we got from this little cabinet. They probably still exist we were just too. Whacking each other like mid middle of the class. How do they not? How does your school not know that that was going to eventually happen? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Bullock was wild. Beating the shit out of each other. Why are you scooting close? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Remember fucking, gliding back and forth. So and I hit, my friend hits me right in the leg, right like right here. Probably still got that <laughs> and scar. The teacher, <laughs> dude, the teacher fucking. I'm saying his name, Mr. Schultz, because he quit, he retired the year after. The uh-huh. Dead ass, bro. <laughs> God damn. Oh we damn. Fucking, I I go to hit my friend with it right in the arm, like right here, and mm-hmm. he fucking walks in front of the way. Dude. No. <laughs> damn, bro. You get suspended I, for that? I hit the teacher with this metal ruler, dude. Hard as fuck. Did you get suspended for it? No, I oh, didn't. But I got suspended for cheating. Cheating? Yeah. How'd you cheat? Dude, I don't know how we got caught. <laughs> What'd you do? Fucking Just peeking or what? No, it was like some hardcore cheating. <laughs> like Yeah, texting each we, other. It was freshman shit? year, uh computer programming. Two people in the class knew what the fuck was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass snitches. <laughs> snitches. We fucking my friend me and my friend convinced the one of the kids to like copy everything onto this flash drive, right? <laughs> And so we had it, we, we like copied our programs, his programs, and like made them our own or whatever, you know, right. plagiarizing. Right. And fucking teacher found out, dude, what we didn't realize is that we would, he, he could see our screens from his screen. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that, he had like the master view or whatever? So like, he didn't even, yeah. He didn't even fucking catch us like copying everything. My friend was playing fucking Minecraft. <laughs> My friend was fucking Minecraft. And it's then he comes funny. over and he sees the flash drive and he was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, nothing, dude. Don't even worry about it. It's all right because we cheated on the test in that class. Too. <laughs> and damn. he didn't find out about that. Yo, speaking of like teachers, this is probably going to be like really fucked up for me to say. But Jesus. We had this teacher named, named Mr. Slutz. Whoa. <laughs> Mr. Slutz. He was called Mr. Slutz a countless <laughs> amount of times, it, bro. Dude. Salute. So he was an English teacher and he was like big Beethoven guy and shit like that. And like, no, we didn't give a fuck. Black ass school. Like, nobody gives a shit about Beethoven. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Beethoven? Just, what the just, fuck? Motherfucking teach us how to <laughs> fucking not get caught by the police. <laughs> um, so, Bruh. bro, it got to the point where like motherfuckers just like start throwing full blown dictionaries at this mother. What like, the bro, fuck? I'm not, listen, I'm not bullshitting. Like, this is one of the. Like worst ex- like classes I've ever been in my life. Fuck? People would put lotion in his chair before he sat down. No so when he got back way, up, like dude. it'd be a white ass stain on his ass. He turn around and write something bored. The whole classroom would like bust and <laughs> fucking start laughing and shit. Um, That's fucked he, up. He it got to the point where he had to put a camera, like a little webcam, on his desk facing the, the class or whatever. Somebody threw a stapler, knocked that off the fucking table, broke that bitch. So they what got to the this. They got this. kind of school did you go to? Badass one. Um, it got to the point where like the fucking principal had to like kind of pop in at certain times, or just to make sure we were cool. Yeah, I mean, shit, throwing staplers. Yeah, and bro, shit. dude, that sounds like a bad class. Bro. So imagine the board is in front of me. His desk is to the right of me. And um, if you're watching this, if if at any point like we get this on <laughs> fucking video uh just imagine the opposite of what i'm saying so it from your perspective it's on the left of me and still in front of me but yeah anyways so from our perspective to the right of me and to the front of me is his desk and the board to the left of me diagonally like behind left behind is like one of the baddest kids in the fucking classroom the fuck? a fucking book goes flying over my head oh. Towards his desk, and his desk is right beside the door. The fucking principal comes in at the time that the fucking book is like mid air, <gasps> lands and hits her like in the shin. She the looks at, yeah, yes, no, she looks me dead in the eyes and says, Get over here. No, 
you got blamed for that? I was the biggest snitch in the classroom oh, that day, bro. Dude, hell yeah. You're I'm not shit. going. What? Why? Because you didn't, you didn't fucking throw it. Fuck out of here. Fuck, yeah. You think I'm going down for some bullshit? Shit, dude, I'd snitch hell for yeah, that I'd too. Be snitching on that Fuck bitch. that. So quick. Fuck that. So, um, you got anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, when it comes to teachers and stuff, we used to have a music class. Do y'all have music class or no? Yeah. Okay, so. But I didn't take it. Same. We got shit. Dude, I took I was in Catholic school and you had to take it. Oh, yeah. Like, you didn't have a choice. Did you, you do, just... like, the drumming and shit? No. Like, with the fucking, oh. You see, we did drumming with fucking, like, buckets <laughs> in my music class. That was that in sounds high low school. Budget we had start. the recorder. I did the recorder, but that was in like Dude, elementary school. All nope. I'm saying is, I got that black belt in the recorder. Really? Black belt. In <laughs> the I was pretty good to record it too. I actually still have mine. Same. Oh my god. Go ahead, okay, Kyle. Yeah, so I practice on the nightly, dude. Same. The uh, I don't know. My teacher was my class was full of fucking dumbasses, and they used to take like pieces off of glue sticks. And throw them up on the ceiling. What the fuck? <laughs> what the and fuck? wait for them to fall back down. <laughs> if you went to uh, St. Paul's. Y'all was with me, bored. We were, we were fucking bored. If you went to St. Paul's with me, um, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Adam Bogowski used to fucking put glue on the ceiling and wait till it falls back down. And like, do you guys ever play with those motherfucking red sticks? You just, red like, sticks. Red sticks do this and like play beats on them no 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 whatever we had some <laughs> sticks <laughs> that you like that was the highlight of your your I guess. acting bad i don't know and they used to get broken and we got in trouble so jesus all like, right commenting back. uh I nothing it's just saying who's joined fucking Ooh. middle school story it just says who's joined i don't know um, Dude, there was a strike in my middle school. A strike? Like, the students right. striked. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I want more pay. <laughs> no, listen, dude. In middle school, I forgot the reason why, but students literally refused to come into the school and they stood outside like, in the front. For what? I don't, dude. I don't know. But Mr. People, Krabs is in there. <laughs> Mr. People, Krabs like, is in there. People tried to like, escape the school and shit. And fucking Bro, this, stand y'all out is, there, dude. school is a penitentiary? I don't fucking know, dude. Bullock was bad when my Jesus class was there. Christ. All right, let's move on before we run out of time here. Uh, me and Kylie have something to argue about. Uh, this doesn't happen that often on the podcast, so enjoy it while you can. Kylie, what do you feel about... First of all, congratulations to the U.S. Uh, women's national soccer team. They won the World Cup in the women's division. And uh, yeah, Kylie's going on her Facebook right now to find her Facebook stats and facts. This is Kylie, how do you feel? So I'm just, I'm so This is happy. where she sobers up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for the U.S. women's soccer team. Are you reading they, a script? No, <laughs> motherfucker. What the? It looks like you're just like, I'm so happy. That, I'm so uh, happy to announce that the U.S. women's soccer team won the Women's World Cup this weekend or whatever. Whenever all right, go ahead. It was. Okay, um, so there's this post on Facebook. Don't know how... Um, you know, legitimate. legit these facts are, but so this is what Facebook tells me. It says that's a great story. That, <laughs> first of all, fuck you. <laughs> um, it says that the players versus men versus women, basically for a game that they won, a man makes seventeen thousand six hundred twenty-five dollars for a win. And that's the U.S. men's soccer team, and a woman, the woman's team. Each player gets one thousand and three hundred fifty dollars. So that's about a um, sixteen thousand dollar difference, which is great. Yeah, love it. Um, player pay for game loss: a man gets five thousand dollars for losing, and a woman gets zero dollars. Those are facts. Facts. F A X. Um. Player pay for making World Cup team. A man gets sixty-eight thousand dollars. A woman gets fifteen thousand dollars. Let me also say that the reason why the 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 man the the men's team gets five thousand dollars for a loss and the women's team doesn't get anything for a loss is because of the women's collective bargaining agreement, which is their fault. Okay. Anyway, um, team pay for a World Cup performance. 
Men get nine million. Women get two million for winning whole thing. Women get two million for winning whole thing. Men get nine million for losing in the round. I can't read that. What does that say? Round of something. I'm not sure. It's too blurry. Whatever. Anyway. The men's team quality is pretty okay. The women's team quality is off the fucking charts. That is from cc.com slash equal pay. All right. So what is your personal opinion on what's going on? My personal opinion is that women are playing the same game. Soccer is soccer, whether it's a woman or a man playing, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, correct. Same game, same game. Okay, they train the same. They train the same amount of time. They train the same way. And the women are better at the game. These are all facts. They won the World Cup. I know the the U.S. men's team didn't world no women. (laughs) <laughs> the one that, the, <laughs> didn't yeah. world no whim cup <laughs> <laughs> didn't win no world cup so side fact the men's team actually didn't even qualify the last like three years or something like didn't that three or qualify. four years yeah. so yeah i mean what else is there to say about that all right what you got zay let's get this <sighs> so let me start off by asking you this question. I asked you this earlier, but since for the sake of the podcast, I'm going to ask you it again. Do you have a problem with the pay gap between men and women yes. in sports in general? In general? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, specifically sports, on this topic yes. of, of yeah. so- women's soccer and men's soccer. Doesn't seem fair to me. Does it seem to you, fair to you guys? That's okay. Thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't My next question is, and Anybody listening to this podcast, ask yourself this question. Do you watch women's soccer? For the record, I don't watch sports. No, okay, do you For watch Cavs record, games with me? You watch fucking I didn't want to watch Cavs games most of the time. Wow, well, I know how I you didn't feel going forward. I want to watch the fucking home run derby last night or whatever. Oh, I was like, please turn this off. I'm not a fan of sports, okay. but I'm a support any woman. But no, I don't watch fucking soccer because I don't watch sports. All right. To be fair, I don't watch sports either. Right. Okay. So let's get with the facts here. FIFA in its totality, which is the organization that runs both men and women, made more than six billion six billion dollars in the men's World Cup in 2018. The women's World Cup is projected to make around 130 million from this year. Did you say six bill versus? Last year, the men's team generated six billion dollars mm-hmm. in total revenue, right? Compared to the women's team, that was projected this year to make only one hundred thirty million. So six million, one hundred thirty million. But you got to think about soccer as a sport throughout the whole world. Like right. soccer is the most popular sport in the world. But FIFA is the whole world. Like it's not just U.S. Widespread as a motherfuck, like right. M- men, women, like from any country, right. soccer is the we'll, sport. We'll get to that. Um, the women's t- the women's tournament gathered about a billion viewers across all platforms, but in 2010, the men's World Cup had over a billion viewers just for the final game. Say that one. So, again. basically, to break it down. The women's tournament, like the entire tournament, generated about a, a billion viewers. Okay. The men's tournament in 2018 for just the final game, not, not even the whole tournament, just the last game generated over a billion. So the men's, the men's tournament in, I mean, I'm sorry, the men's final game in one game generated the same amount of people that the women's did in the whole tournament. Moving on. from Wait. Two th- Go ahead. Also, women in America have only been able to vote for... Oh, my God. This has nothing <laughs> to do with this. Years. This has nothing to do with this at all. All right. How, so, how, what, what do you mean? 
What the fuck does... So, obviously, men are going to have more viewers because they've been doing this shit longer. They've been doing everything longer. What does voting have to do with playing soccer? I didn't say, like, voting in general, but, like, women haven't even been free for more than 100 years. Okay, well, I'm, we're talking about, like, in the last think, two years. We're not talking suffers. about the last... I'm just letting you know that, like... All right. All right, whatever. The women's team, national team, has only two teams... I'm sorry. I re- Let me rephrase that. Out of the nine teams that exist for the, the women's soccer team in America, this isn't talking about the cup or anything like that. It's just talking about regular ass matches throughout America. What are you talking about? I'm getting there. The nine teams that exist in America for women's soccer. There's only nine women's teams yes. in soccer. Yes. In America. Yes. And I, I'm college FIFA. We're talking about like on a professional level. We're not talking about college or anything like that. Okay. Um, FIFA is the tournament that allows them to play other countries. We're talking about like that. Like FIFA is like when all the best NBA players get together on the U.S. team and go play other countries. Okay. And then the NBA is like comparison to these nine teams that exist in America. Okay. So out of those nine teams, only two teams out of the nine average about 10,000 fans each. Okay. The other seven only average around 5,000. Jesus. Okay. The worst team for the men's um, soccer. American soccer teams, the worst team, which is in Chicago, it's called the Chicago Fire. They're the worst team in the fucking men's division, the uh, men's side of, of, of soccer, averages 11,000 fans. So it, their fans for the worst team averages more than the fucking two best teams of women's soccer. And the best team for the men's average is about 70,000 fans, which is the, uh, uh, somewhere in Atlanta. How do you measure fans? It's attendance and shit like that. Yeah. Um, from 2018, I'm, I'm sorry, from 2016 to 2018, with the consideration of the men's team not making it to the final round, the women's team has earned more money than the men's team. With the women earning fifty point eight million compared to the men's team earning forty nine point nine million. Hmm. With this being said, all those things taken in consideration. Mm-hmm. If you guys want things like the WNBA, things like women's soccer, I'm not even gonna add women's tennis because women women's tennis absolutely blows away men's tennis in a certain degree, uh, especially in America. Support the fucking sport. Exactly. Hmm. Like, if you walk up to the average person that talks about like pay gap and stuff like that, they will bring up the fact that it's unfair and stuff like that. But they're all they they don't bring up the fact that I don't watch it myself. You can't. And I was telling Chad this earlier. When you create a sport, you can't pay people just because they're there. They have to bring the money in. Think of it as like an entertainment kind of thing. So like. The bigger audience you have, the more you get paid. Exactly. The more you bring in is the more you can dish out evenly. If you want to pay them more, you got to popularize female right. sports. And then you can start paying right. women more. So when you talk about viewership and shit like that, yes, the women's team had more viewership than the men's because they went further. So yes, they're going to have more, which obviously I mean, they directly well. equates to the fact that they've made more money than the, the men's team in the last two years. Probably three now since they didn't make it this year. The men's team didn't make it three. So this they year. brought in almost ten thousand dollars more in revenue. Is that what we're saying? In uh, earnings, in total what was earnings. The, what was the difference? The, or two earnings? Um, f- uh, f- fifty million, fifty point eight million for the men's. I mean, for the women, compared to forty nine point nine to the men's team. The women actually made more money in the past two years than the men's team, in t- in totality. So. In earnings and and. Each player taking home in, in, in total. I don't think that's what that means. That's exactly what that means because, meant. no, 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 because I just said also right before this that in 2018, the, I'm sorry, this year, the world, the women's world cup was projected to make around 130 million. So that, that's this right here, the 50 million, 50.8 million is just a piece of the actual total revenue that they brought in, in its totality. This is their, complete earnings in the last two years. 
the 50.8 million. Okay. Which tells you that while there, yes, there is a pay gap, but it's because of the fact that they're, not the sponsorships aren't there. They're just not view, as popular. Exactly. And that's not, it's not, it's not about sexism. If you want people to support something, the fans and the people that are complaining about it have to start supporting. Turn your fucking TVs on. Buy a jersey. Give them a sponsorship. There's a lot of other things in life that, like, I, I trust me, I do. Like, I'm not sitting here saying that sexism doesn't exist. I believe it. You've opened my eyes a lot to things that go on as far as, like, you know, being, like, like just day-to-day, everyday jobs and stuff like that. Like, I can tell that there's, you know, sexism and stuff like that in, in the workforce and stuff like that. But I don't think that sports is one of them. It's all about what you bring in. Hmm. I got a question the other day for you guys. Oh, shit. If you guys made $1 million right now, just dropped out of the sky into your lap. What's the first thing? First three things you're buying. First three things. I yeah. fi- a financial advisor. Okay. That's a one. house. That's two. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Something that's gonna make me money. Real estate, maybe. So you buy some like apartments or something like that. Maybe. Okay. A million dollars. My financial advisor will tell me what to buy. So your third purchase will probably come off of what they what advise they you? advise me. Okay, I can see that. I've All thought right. about that a lot, actually. <laughs> Chat, what you got? You're just waiting for a million dollars. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a million. <laughs> just drop out a of the sky. A million, a million, a million. A dollars dropped out of my, the sky. What would you do with it? Definitely buying a house. That's Definitely for sure. buying like a house in Calabasas or an apartment or something. You're gonna drop into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> that earthquake's gonna be like nah. The second thing I'd buy, I think I'd only buy like two things. I'd buy like the house, right, and then I'd go for. <laughs> Bro, like, <laughs> you saying you only buy two things until a million dollars just drops in your lap? <laughs> Listen, no. Then you're like, I'm shit. Being smart I'm with this. Anything. I'm being so smart with this. I'm gonna like invest it. You gotta buy something that's gonna make you money. Definitely getting a Basically. house or an apartment. For I'm sure. like buying it, buying it. So, for sure. Like, I take care of it, shit like that. But then, probably gonna have to go for like either like a financial advisor or like mm. a broker or something like that. Oh, a broker is a good idea. So I can invest that into like stocks, you know, two I feel years. Like brokers are fake though. With a million dollars, you get paid off of amenities. You can just live out the rest of your life, like you know, off of many amenities, and then slowly racking up the savings. Heck yeah! What are you doing today? Um. So my first purchase, I don't. Know, it's not really considering to be a purchase, but like I obviously pay off all my debts, like. Anything that I oh, owe, dude, anything I, yeah, that I like, didn't even think about that. is like about being that. chopped out of the way. I'm not, I, bro. It'd be like, paying, wouldn't it be the um, dumbest shit ever if you had the opportunity to pay off your debts and like you didn't? You forgot. <laughs> You're just still in debt with like a million dollars in your pocket. Um, so I pay off. No, no, that's kind of a good thing though, as well. As, like it, it's bad, but it's also <laughs> a good shit. thing. You can you can live your life making that. Build credit. Off fuck of it, fuck that. Exactly. I mean, once you fuck get to like that. you know, eight hundred, I don't credit, need. I think you're good to go. I don't need credit if I got money to buy a shit. Um. So that be number one. A million to, like, dollars is so much it. fucking money. Is it though? Yeah, I was gonna say like a mi- I, I was just watching something on TV uh, this past weekend that said like the people that have like their first million. Fact right here, NBA players go eighty percent of NBA players go bankrupt after the first five years of being retired. So uh, if yeah, they make used to getting all that money and then they just want to spend it all at once. Cause right. They're, so they're not, so they're imagine like a million dollars. We have that. And then they have like a couple hundred million yeah. dollars, whatever. And then like they just go bankrupt. Fact. Bears eat beets. <laughs> so my second choice, <laughs> I would buy a, I, I would not even buy, but like I would invest into like, a hotel that's in a very popular area. No, yeah, if I'm yeah. investing in something, Chicago. I'm investing in a fucking dispensary. In like a, right. a, that does sound like a good idea. That does sound like a good idea. Like, in dude, an illegal state in or a legal, illegal? Ill- illegal. State. <laughs> How am I setting up a weed dispensary in an <laughs> illegal state? Um, and then my third one would be. Um, so this this would be like 
a three and one purchase, I would buy myself. Oh shit! Um, a Lamborghini Huracan. What the fuck? <laughs> With a million dollars? Uh, about, about, uh, about you can get one for probably like two that two hundred thousand. Why a hurricane though? Uh huh. Why a hurricane? Cause bro, that's my Dude, fucking dream just car, get bro. Get something way better. You know, I can get a used one for like a hundred thousand. Fuck the Lambo Huracan. That shit's old news, dog. You want to get like a McLaren or some shit? Nah, I get it. Nah, real, real talk. I get a Huracan, a Tesla. I get a Tesla. Because I want to just sit back Dude, and like. Dude, of course just, I'm buying a Tesla. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm buying, I'm um, trading I in Tesla. my car and getting a better one. <laughs> and then I would have to get like a big body truck of some sort, like. Bruh. Like two years after like, I've invested, you know, I got the amenities coming in. That's when I'm buying like all the shit I want. No, I would have to get my dad. My third purchase would be getting my mom and dad a, a Escalade. Oh shit! Oh, Escalade. Yeah. Fuck. yeah. And then like Honestly. a year's worth of gas money for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, fuck. that leads me to the not safe for work that. question of the week. Wait. What? We oui, we. Oui. We oui, we. Oui. No, you guys getting your French on? Wait. Oui. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, Sweet. like, honestly, I'd be cool with like a three hundred thousand dollar house. Like, For sure, me too. Me too. I don't know yeah, why people buy like, obnoxious ass mansions. What's the point of getting like a two million dollar house? Dollar house. For just real. for like all the space you're never gonna. You know use. what though? Exactly. And some you houses. Hire somebody to clean that shit because I ain't cleaning that shit. Some well, houses that are like two million dollars are more for the location that it's in. Like that's true. That's true. There are some small ass houses in California that are like three million dollars. Oh yeah. Three all bedroom, right. two bath. Like right. out in Arizona, Our you house? probably get like up where my aunt is. You can probably get like a five hundred thousand dollar house that's like maybe two thousand square foot. Damn, that's literally our house. Right. <laughs> all right. So for you guys that don't know what this is, is the question not safe for work question of the week? You um, thought of something? Yeah, I did. Bleh. It's gonna be pretty quick and easy. It's gonna relate to mm, what I just asked you guys. Oh shit. Um, not safe for work question of the week is a question that you wouldn't ask at work. It's not safe. Good job, Zay. Came with, up with that Good on my best. own. Uh, my question, not safe for work question of the week, E, is what is the cutoff number of minimum money that you would ask for um, to suck dick for? To how much money are you, money? how much money would, would you say, all right, I'll, I'll suck dick, dick for that. So basically, how gay are you? Yeah. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> Okay, uh, Kylie, your your uh, your fucking alternate question is, how much cooch are you eating? You really don't even got to go that far. No, yeah, I'm definitely going that far. Honestly, it it um like like sucking dick is just no 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 no. You got the opposite. <laughs> how much cooch are you eating? I mean, how much? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> how many dollars are gonna go in your pocket for the cooch that you're eating? Per one cooch? No. You eat cooch for five minutes. That's what and I'm you, asking. And, like, okay, for you guys. So we got to suck dick for five minutes. Five but, minutes? But, five but you minutes. get that much money for five minutes. How much money will it take you for you to going. eat cooch or suck dick for five minutes? Thing. Is that what you're talking about? No, yes. I'm asking, is it like... One time thing. Say it's like one mil per five minutes. Nope. What the That's fuck? Bullshit. No. It's, hey, somebody comes up to you and goes, I want my dick sucked. How much money... Can I give you to suck my dick for five minutes? A grand. What? Whoa. That's what? it? Yeah. yeah. They're going to cut you a check for any money, any number, and you're going to fucking pick well, a grand? Well, if I say one mil, I'm irrational. How? If I say a grand, because, motherfucker, like, bitches just suck dick. Like. <laughs> yeah, but you're eating cooch. And? You're not gay. Or are you? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Awkward silence. Bro, I could use a grand right now. You just rolled your B. You're like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could also use like five hundred grand. I'm not sucking dick, bro, for nothing. No shit, I can get on an income right, tax also, check. Also, I think sexuality is different for men and women. Men are very like uptight about their. All sexuality. right, let me say this. Oh, no, let me say God. this. All right, cool. Hold on. Hold, on. Hold on. Wait. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Let me ask you this I'm question. Like, then. How much? Hot, how, how much money are you getting for eating ass? I gotta eat a girl. You gotta ass eat or a, a whole ass? a man's ass. For for how much? Man, <laughs> you got me fucked up. Now you feel me. Five hundred mil. What the <laughs> fuck? I ain't touching mil. no man's ass. Actually, I know a girl who ate a man's ass. We'll say no names. Good. 
I'm just saying, like a shitty ass. What the fuck? Like a, a shitty ass. Like uh, there ain't no shitty listen, dick. Listen, the fuck is wrong with a you? Ass that meant to be a fart, but was a shit. You. <laughs> Yo, Zay low-key wants to get his ass Zay. Chill. <laughs> Whoa, man. Zay's like, yo. Hold man. on, bucko. Whoa, bucko. You act unusual. You act unusual. <laughs> Wild out yo, here, man. you really sus right now, Zay. Whoa. You're really sus right now, bro. Yikes, man. Yes. Sus as fuck. Sus. Crazy, dog. Suspect. <laughs> You're how much fucking. Dick, how much money are you sucking? How much dick are you sucking? <laughs> Twice, wrong twice. How much money are you sucking first in a dick? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Ready for this? Like, How much money? Five. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> five dollar sucky sucky. <laughs> All right. Five dollar um, sucky. In realistic <laughs> manners. How big's the dick? Dude, it's like average. Am I doing like average? Or am I like average? Average. Right. Your average US dude average is. is like five inches or some shit. Some right. shit like Six, that. Maybe. You don't. You do understand that? No, nah, never mind. What? Uh, what? Nothing. nothing. What? Um. What? I would give it a good cold ten million dollars. Ten what the million. Fuck? Ten million to suck a dick. Yeah. Got me fucked up. I'd be sucking some dick for a grand, bro. Bro, what is wrong with you? Bro, I'm sucking dick for a 10K. Grand? 10K. 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 I'm a 10,000? Listen. You said 10 mil? Listen, 10K. 10K, you could do a lot of shit with 10K. You could do a lot with 10K. All right, I'm going to lower my number. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 mil, bro? Holy shit. 10 mil. Ain't nobody Give me paying you 10 mil to suck a dick, first of all. She's going to go straight over Zay to Chad. Zay has undiscovered. What the fuck? <laughs> We're not doing this again, Kylie. They're Whoa. saving 900000 Listen. There are girls, and I've said this like in one of the very earlier podcasts, that go to Dubai and get shit on for large amounts of money. So I'm pretty sure someone's gonna get Count their dick me sucked. In, bro. <laughs> like someone pops a squat, their what? asshole. You you wait, you open your eyes, and there's a money, fucking asshole above your face. Dude, you can and then, do a lot. Much money, you can do a lot with 10k. Give me 10K? give me 20k. To suck, 20K? To suck, all right, to suck, all right. To suck a dick. So I'm still going with the eat and cooch thing. I would honestly take a small check. To eat some cooch. Not gonna lie. So how much would you take I to eat some broke. ass? To eat some ass? Some men ass. ass. <sighs> Probably. Some manly. I would say 10K. 10K. I feel like that's reasonable. Some reasonable. manly, hairy, hungry Just man. Spread the hair out of the way. What the oh, fuck? My listen, fucking God. <laughs> to eat some hairy asshole, bro. That is take, worse than sucking it's dick. It's gonna take more than 10K. <laughs> First of all, that's worse than sucking dick. Chad just said so. It is, dude. It what is. if he makes you choke? What? Uh, what? <laughs> the dick? What you mean? Like deep throw? <laughs> yeah, bro. What if he like grabs the back of your head? Hey, and- guess what? Then you're a female. That shit happens, bro. I've never dog ten k. Dude, dude, yeah, bro, like- you're just back there like, oh, I'm about to be. <laughs> 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 it's worth it. It's worth it. Give me my ten k. <laughs> you're just over there looking at the money sitting on the table like, oh, <laughs> oh it's almost, almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, imagine being a female. This is just what is expected of you in a relationship. Jesus Christ, bro. You're going like full blown. I'm just saying, man. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Email us at eastparkentertainment at gmail.com if you get forced to deep throat. (laughs) What the the fuck, Zay? I just want to know the statistics of who's been forced to deep throat. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, man. I just just want to know the statistics, all right? Right. No. Been been deep throated? Have you been deep throated? Yes or no? (laughs) (laughs) If you have been deep throated, you can be. um, Subject to. Subjected to the. (laughs) What what is it? What is it? What did she say? Mesothelioma. He said mesothelioma. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. What are they actually saying in the commercial? You used to say that shit all the time. Call it was number like, 1-800-BIN-DEEP-THROATED.COM. God damn. God you fucking damn. You may be subject to compensation. Yeah, you may. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 You may be compensated for getting deep-throated. Mesothelioma. Are you a victim of deep-throating? Holy shit. In the Alright, well that takes us to our sponsor. Who's um, our sponsor? <laughs> the deep throat doctor. The deep listen, throat uh, doctor, big dick Nick. <laughs> listen, if you've ever been a victim of deep throat, uh, we have. Please the, call our hotline. We have the perfect person for you. Who the fuck? 
as Dr. D. Dr. <laughs> Dr. DP. No, that's double penetration. Sorry. <laughs> Dr. Dr. DT. Deep throat. Uh, he <sighs> resides out of Miami, Florida. Um, you can give him a call at 1 800. Fucking around, bro. Can I get this fucking sponsor out or no? Damn, no, we got some serious shit to talk no about. Sponsor. Yes, we do. <laughs> Dr. DT. <laughs> Dr. DT. All right, Dr. DT. Dr. DT. I got Dr. DT on the phone right now. What the fuck is up, bro? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> you guys need some help out there? <laughs> I'm your guy. I'm your fucking guy. Listen, all you got to do is pull the fuck out. Look him in the eye and go, no, <laughs> no, I'm only going to suck a tip and the tip is it. Put the tip in and that's it. Zay, you gay. How? You're just gay. Because you, okay, because come from the person that's going to eat cooch for a thousand dollars. Hell yeah, I'm eating cooch for a thousand dollars. I could use that shit, pay my fucking mortgage. I remember one time I was a I little kid and I went, I went to spell couch. I actually didn't. I, I put <laughs> oh. cooch. <laughs> It's about time for us to go. Uh, Chad, you got a riddle for us? I do have a riddle. All right. What's the one from last so week? So last week's riddle was count to 12 by fives. What oh, yeah. This one. I didn't even Google this shit and couldn't find it. Count to 12 by fives. What am I? A fucking clock. God damn it, bro. You a whole hoe, bro. <laughs> I hate you. A fucking clock. <laughs> damn it. That's some so- bullshit. Hey, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right. Yeah, it was. Well, this what one, is it for this week? Jay? This week we got. Where is it? <clears throat> I don't know if you guys are gonna get this one. Maybe. There was a man who was born before his father, killed his mother, and married his sister. Yet there was nothing wrong with what he had done. Why? Say again. All right. There was a man who was born before his father, killed his mother, and married his sister. Yet. There was nothing wrong with what he had done. Why? Because he's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he was he was born before his father. Yeah. And he killed his mother. Yeah. Born before and married his, his sister. Born before <laughs> that's, his father. That's cousin Tom. Married his what? Mother? He's got damn sister, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he Wait, was born before his dad. His mother. He was born killed before his, his dad, mother, killed his mom, married and his married his sister. sister. This is the most Tennessee ass fucking <laughs> riddle. Mary's most Alabama ass shit. There's nothing wrong with what he did. Why? Because he's Jesus. Because. Because he's Jesus. Think outside the box. It's outside not. Outside the box. He's born before of his Alabama. father killed his mother. And born before his sister. father. So he's Jesus. Because <laughs> he's God. Killed his mother. Because he's hmm. a psychopath. Married his sister. Is because he he's Ted Bundy? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, we suck. we're going to leave that cliffhanger. It's a fucking hard one. Uh, thank you, guys. We've been having a great month so far uh, for, as far as listeners and everything like that. Um, make sure you guys are checking in to make sure that, you know, you, you find out when the launch of our website is. It could be literally any day, um, but no later than hopefully the 20th. Um, Did you say April 20th? No, nah, no later than the 20th. Oh. Like, um, listen, what we're trying to create here is something that everybody can enjoy. You literally can just sit down, listen to us. You can do it in a car ride. You can do it at the gym. Kylie's spinning around in the chair, hitting the fucking microphone. So if you hear random like doom, doom, dooms, um, it's because of her. Uh, this is a fun, fun fucking environment where we want to talk about anything and everything that we possibly can. So, um, hope you guys enjoy hope you guys are enjoying this is the 15th episode if there's anything that you guys think that we can improve on or if there's anything that you guys you know want to you know give us advice on or anything let us know um kelly when are you gonna sober up (laughs) jesus christ um hopefully we should be be getting the videos on uh here soon and when we do that we'll be good good to go um so, with that being said, my name is Xavier. My name is Kylie. Drunk ass. You already know Chad. <laughs> this has been the East Park Podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for listening. Tell your friends. Peace out. Host.